there! It's Julie with Skype Tips. Um, people often ask me um, how to edit their Skype profile. Actually, that's because I usually give them tips on <laughs> how to, uh, what to do in their pro in their Skype profile for better results. Um, and then they ask me how to edit profile. So anyway, I haven't done a video lately since Skype 3, version 3.8 how to edit your your profile so I thought I'd do one here for Skype version 4 and this is Skype version 4 um, this is what it looks like so okay first of all how do you open your Skype profile so that you can edit it well there's a couple ways at least see this personalize you can click on that and then edit your profile or there's usually a way to edit your profile in the menu items. Always check out your menu items or any application. Good idea. So let's look for profile and then edit your profile. And you get something like this pop up here. And <clears throat> here's my recommendations on what you should edit in your profile. First of all, you should use your full name, first and last name, here. Certainly use what you want people to see in Skype when you uh, chat with them or talk to them, contact them on Skype, um, rather than just your username. Um, good to have your username be your actual name, name of your business, or whatever it is you're branding yourself as, getting to know want people to know you as but if you have already created a Skype account and your user profile is not something you want to brand yourself with then um, at least put your full name in here in, the, in this first um, I'm not showing a good example let me go to the beginning Doo -doo -doo -doo. there we go Julie Wolf and I'm experimenting with these cute little things I'm seeing people use that's a pretty anyways put your real name or name of your business or whatever you want to brand yourself in the full name um, also it's a really good idea See, people don't have enough in their Skype profiles for people to know anything about you so it's really important to put enough in your Skype profile so that people can know something about you so you might want to go down here and make sure you've at least filled out your about me box. Mine says, I help with Skype and online relationship marketing. Free Skype tips here and there's a link there. You can actually put a link as well in the um, about area. That's important. It's also important that you let people find out, find you online, right? So make sure in your website area that you put some website there. Hopefully that they can learn more about you. <laughs> so they'll know whether they want to connect with you on Skype and what you're about. Even if they've already connected you with you on Skype, you should occasionally change your profile. If people get in touch with you later on, they want a, a reminder of who you are, what you're about, or want to see what you're about lately, they'll check out your Skype profile. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll be doing other videos on showing people how to check out other people's Skype files. Leave a comment down below, please, if you want to see that sooner. Or any questions, anything you want to see, I'll make a video of. I'd be glad to. So those are really important. Full name is important. Um, your uh, about you is important. Put a website here. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what to put in the website in a minute. Really good idea to put contact information here in the phone numbers. Um, I have a really good reason why Occasionally, unfortunately, people's Skype accounts get hacked. Well, the more enlightened Skype contact friends of yours might actually not have your phone number or your website, okay, and may want to let you know that your Skype account's been hacked. So let people be able to find you online and to get in touch with you. So you may want to fill in some of these phone numbers or even put a website there, although that doesn't link there in these fields. Websites don't link website URL addresses don't link and of course your picture is really good to put there 
So again, really quick summary, what's really important to have in your profile is your full name, your about me, why do you want to connect with people on Skype, what do you want people on Skype to know about you, um, and then a website, your real picture, or some picture that helps people know something more about you, and, um, and then some contact information in these phone numbers. Okay, that's almost it, except I want to go over what kind of things you can put in your website. You have no excuse. If you don't have a website of your own, there is no excuse for not putting something there. Um, these days, you should definitely have some, at least, if you don't have a blog, that's ideal, is to put a blog there, your own blog there. But if you don't have a blog of your own or a site of your own, then at least put a social site where people can find out more about you. Social site, examples, in case you don't know what I'm talking about. That would be weird, but who knows? Okay, so maybe you really new. Um, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, those are really popular ones. Any of those type of social sites, um, could be Flickr, could be MySpace, the list goes on and on. Put something there about you, and then if you have other sites that you want people to see, it's better for you to put a site where people could learn about you in your site profile. Um, and then link to other sites that you want people to visit from whatever website you put in here. Could be a blog, could be a social site. So that's it. Um, if you need help creating a blog or social or creating a social website or creating website of any kind. If you need help with Skype, if you need, need help with relationship building online, relationship marketing or networking, I've got many Skype rooms, including one to help you with blogging and another one to help you network and get to know people. I've got, of course, a Skype chat room for Skype tips, and I've got some other interesting rooms like mindset, inspiration, things like that. Uh, do contact me if I can help you with any of those. Ask your questions. Be sure to get my Skype tips there, incomeassurance.com slash Skype. And uh, there's where you contact me to ask a question specifically is at that site, incomeassurance.com slash Skype. Yeah, you can find Skype buttons there. And uh, you can also subscribe to my Skype tips from old tips that I've written, and so uh, anything new I share, anything you ask me about, people ask me about, I make videos, I blog about it, so you can all get uh, get the latest on, on what people are asking and learning about, about Skype and blogging and social networking and relationship marketing. Well, I hope that's been helpful. One more time, how do you edit your profile? Well, here in Skype 4, Point whatever, you can go to personalize the personalize button here and go to edit your profile. Or you can find in the menu items usually a way to find the profile and edit your profile. You can change your picture. Here's how to change the mood, the little bubble next to your name, like this. This is your bubble right here. Da, da, da. Um, that's how to edit your profile. I hope that helps. Hope that answers some people's questions. See ya on Skype. Bye for now.